Welcome back to Terry's Corner. Today in Terry's Corner, we're gonna take a quick second. Now, check that. We're gonna take two or three minutes. I can't do anything in a second. And we're gonna talk about condo and HOA fees. We're gonna talk about them from the buyer's perspective. What you should be thinking about as you buy your property, be it a second home or an investment or a primary residence. All right, so you've boiled down to three or four properties, you've narrowed down, and now you wanna talk about buying a property. You want to make sure you have an agent that can explain the condo fees to you. What's included in the condo fee? Is the water bill included in the condo fee? What about the insurance? What kind of supplemental insurance are you going to need? What does the condo do for you besides keeping hallways clean, maybe keeping the pool open? Then equally important is once you do purchase that particular home, condominium or townhouse or single family, you really want to take some time to take a look at the budget. You want to look at the annual budget for that condominium or homeowners association and you want to make sure they have a minimum, I'll say this twice, you want to make sure they have a minimum of 10% reserves. The reason that's so important, whether you're taking a loan or not, is if they don't have a 10% reserve, then Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will not lend in that community, neighborhood, or building. So thereby, the value of that property will be circumvented a little bit because not everybody can buy cash or with private money. So again, you want to make sure you have a really good representation with the agent. You want to get your eyes on the condo and the condo budget. I think it's really important as well to look at the meeting minutes for the past 12 months as well. They should be readily available post-purchase. You have a great agent and they can ferret those out for you before you might be able to save some time. So just a reminder, what, what's in the bill? What do you get in the bill? What do you need to supplement the bill? And then what's the future like look like in that association going down the road? One, two, three, lock it up, quick tips.